Hey guys, it's Matt and today we're going to be talking about giving yourself an FPS boost or a little kick in the Unity editor to make it that little bit smoother. I want everybody to comment down below and give me your suggestions on ways that you've made your experience that little bit better. Now, this is Unity 2020 and with newer versions that I'll touch on a few things that you can look at. We're going to play a game of Spot the Difference, so I like to have my scene view up here and game view down here. So, I will press play in my scene, and you can see that my FPS is around 70 frames per second. Now, in the next instance, I'm going to play it on a full screen mode, or just maximize on play in Unity. So now you can see my game view is maximized on play with the same resolution, but you can see that my FPS is over 200. Now, you might argue that this was just because it's rendering the scene view at the same time as the game view, and it's impacting performance that way. Now, yes, that is true, and that can affect performance and there's a few ways that you can just work around this obviously if you're somebody who has a very big scene you can obviously turn off elements of your environment or something that you're working on and in modern versions of unity you can specifically look on this left hand side and below the little plus icon we can just click left and we can hide specific assets so we may not want to see at any given time which will improve performance as you can see now I've got over 100 FPS, but you can see that I've removed everything from my scene now, including all effects, and I still don't have the same amount of FPS that I had before. I think it's just to do with the Unity editor and the way that it draws extra resources in from playing. You can untick the lighting and you can also untick any post-processing or fog effects that you might have that are applied to your scene if you don't want to add any extra resources that you need. Sometimes when you've got a lot of tabs open when you move them around and you, and you do a customized look like I've got here, you can go to the drop down of layout and you can actually reset your layouts. So then that can sometimes fix performance issues too. And for some people who are specifically have lower end hardware or maybe using a laptop, you can go to edit project settings, go to player, and then in the other settings, and you can go to the auto graphics API for Windows, untick that settings, and you can see that mine's defaulted to DirectX 11. Then you can click the little plus, and you can choose the different APIs that Unity uses. So Vulkan specifically supported for AMD specific hardware, DirectX 12, which is currently in experimental phases, or if you're on really lower end hardware or older hardware, you may have an option for DirectX 9, which may may well improve your performance. So I do hope you found these little tips and tricks helpful and do comment down below with anything that you have which might be helpful. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 120 different scripts, assets and projects you can't find anywhere else. Check out my great assets on the Unity store and on my website for bonus discounts. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and thank you so much to all my patrons and all the amazing subscribers. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.